Let's learn about higher order components. First, what kind of problem we face without using a HOC? Well, sometimes we have to write same logic in many components. Also, in fetching data, we have to fetch we have to fetch in each component separately if you are not using any props. Let's understand this with an example. Here I want to create a feature of likes and comments. So first I will create a folder HOC and in this folder create one file let's say like count.js. I am creating a class component using a react snippets. And inside the component, let's make a one state called likes and display it in the render method. Create a one button to add more likes. On click method, I'm creating a handle click method which increases the count of likes. Don't forget to call this method in our button. Import likes component in the app file. And it's working. Now let's create same for the comments component. We want to display total number of comments and add more. Just copy the same code from the likes component and change the state, state name from likes to comments. Display total comments number here and write add comment. That's it. Import comments component in the app file. And both are working fine. Now as you can see here in this ex simple example, we have to write the same logic for both the component. Now imagine of having this problem in a big websites like Facebook and it will make it slow. Let's understand how higher order component will help us to solve this issue. A higher order component is an advanced technique in React for using a component logic. HOC is a function that takes a component and returns a new component. Let's understand this statements. For the syntax, HOCs are not a part of a React API. They are a pattern that emerges from a React's compositional nature. As you can see here, this is just a simple syntax of HOC where higher order component is a HOC component that adds some additional functionality to the original component, which is a wrapped component and returns an enhanced wrapped component. I know it is a little tricky to understand, but you will soon understand it when we will apply it to our simple example. It is a component which takes two arguments. First is a component and second is a data. Then it returns a new component. The return component is enhanced version of a component that we have. Now looking at this snippet, you will understand a bit more. As you can see here, HOC is a higher order component which takes original component and a data. Then inside it returns a new class component which renders the original component with some additional changes. Let's create our own HOC component. Create one file HOC.js
In this file, we will use arrow syntax to create a function. In the arguments, pass component and data. Inside HFC, return a class component which renders a component that, that is passed to it. and export it. Now this is the simplest structure based on the definition of a higher order component. Let's try to add some more other functionalities. Let's try to add some other functionalities. Just write a hello before a component. Let's see how to access HOC. Let's try it out in the likes component. First, remove this export default. And at the end, create one component called enhance likes, which uses a higher order component. And pass like component in the HOC argument. Export this enhance like component. Now in the app file, remove the old import of likes and import a new enhance likes component. And as you can see here, there is a hello is displayed in the likes component. This hello is the additional functionality that we have added using a HOC. Let's add more functionalities. Likes and comments, both the component are using the same logic. So let's add it to the HOC. Create one count state and method to increment it. and pass a count state as a count number and a method as a handle click in the props of the component. Inside the likes component, remove the construct constructor and method because we have already those things in the props. And instead of this dot state, use this dot props dot count number. And the same for the method. Do the same in the comments component too. and import both the enhance component in the app file. As you can see, both of them are working great. So we don't have to write the same functionality in each component. Instead, we can use HOC. Now comes a question that if there are already a few likes from the beginning, or a few comments are already there, then how we can display them from the start instead of displaying zero. First, let's log the data in the HOC.
right now it is undefined in the likes component where we are using HOC let's pass some data let's say there are five likes already and in the comments there are 10 comments now in the console there is a data 5 and 10 that we have already passed now initialize the state in the HOC with this data instead of 0 save it and as you can see here likes and comments are initialized with our data so this is how you can manipulate the data in the component using a higher order component let's see one more use case now in most cases first we store user data such as a username status etc in the local storage from the server then we pass down it to the different component now instead of passing it to the each component and manage their states we can use a higher order component just write a username and in the value let's write a code box create one state in the HOC which is a name bring the username from local storage use a json.stringify which grabs local storage dot get item and write username pass this state as a username to the component let's use it in the likes component as hello this dot props dot username and it's working great same as this you can also verify that if user is logged in or not let's see more use cases of a higher order component you can wrap components inside the loading screen until the component fetches the data just have to add loading screen functionalities in the HOC you can also style different components by passing a specific styling data in the second argument you can also provide a specific data or props to each component now remember avoid using higher order component inside the render method and the static method must be copied over just like we did with the handle click now you cannot use refs in the HOC because refs are not passed through you can learn more about the higher order component from the official document of react.js i will put a link in the description that's the end of this video hope you like the video thanks for watching